Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just uh, making a very quick uh, video update. Uh, I had to check the last time I actually posted an update and surprise it was nine months ago. So this is a quick video just to say, hey, I'm still here. The tank is still up and running and uh, just kind of sharing my thoughts and, um, you know, what I plan on, on doing in the near term here. Um, so as you can see, the tank is still up. I haven't done too much with it really. Um, as far as new changes in the main display um, I do have a new fish which is that yellow wrasse um, I wanted to add you know a splash of yellow uh, my favorite fish is a uh, you know the pygmy uh, 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 angel fish uh, the, the yellow one uh, but that's kinda risky with corals I did have one before and it did pick in corals so I got this yellow chorus wrasse instead uh, which I absolutely love. Um, other than that, corals have just pretty much been uh, growing out, um, you know, filling up the tank nicely. So I'm just letting nature do its thing. I mean, I haven't pruned anything. I mean, if, if stuff grows over each other, I just kind of let it be. Um, a couple of months ago, I did make a change in the sump. Uh, I was just curious to know well first of all I have mentioned on a couple of occasions um, pretty sure I have that this is pretty much an experimentation tag so uh, a tank so I do you know different changes and see what works well what doesn't work a few months ago the last change I made in the sump uh, was basically to remove um, I removed the macroalgae I was just curious to see, you know, how much, I, uh, how the tank would fear um, without microalgae. Uh, basically, just running a skimmer and carbon and uh, phosphate, phosphate removing uh, media, combined with uh, vodka dosing. Um, for the most part, it's okay um, but there has been some algae issues you know you can see that brown layer of algae on the rocks and you know some of the corals especially like the um, zoanthids are kinda competing with the algae you know notice how they they're kinda stretching out upwards uh, you know they look elongated rather than staying close to the rock and kind of widening out so they're actually growing up trying to get away from the algae um, a little bit of cyano on the sand some green here green algae back on the sand in the back there um, pretty much that so the next thing I want to experiment with is uh, Ecosystems Miracle Mud um, you know I have considered using it or trying it for a while so I thought hey this would probably be a good time to um, go that method what I do plan on doing is um, getting rid of the skimmer and um, just you know using Miracle Mud and putting back uh, microalgae into this uh, sump or it will be a refugium basically so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get rid of the skimmer um, I'm gonna get rid of the deep sand bed uh, in this chamber basically I'm gonna be putting my miracle mud in this chamber um, with microalgae growing on top of it in the skimmer chamber over here well obviously skimmers out I'm gonna be doing more microalgae in there so I'm gonna be having two chambers with microalgae uh, one in this section here and one in this section here um, you may have noticed that obviously my tank my sump isn't the typical design you know where you have you know baffles basically the water goes up and over and under and you know in one direction Mine is like a U-shape, so it comes in in the back chamber where the skimmer is, and it kind of makes a U-turn, comes around, and the return pump takes it back up to the tank. 
So that's what I'm going to be doing. Getting rid of the sand and just growing microalgae and um, Miracle Mud, using Miracle Mud. Um, not sure if I'm going to continue dosing vodka uh, at this time. Uh, that's still up in the air. So that's going to be the next uh, experiment. So just kind of wanted to post a video um, just to kind of document, you know, what I'm going to be doing. Keep you guys uh, updated. So uh, next video I post should be um, pretty soon. I'm heading out to the um, fish store now because I'm going to need a new um, or better light for my refugium. Since I'm basically going to be using twice the space for growing microalgae, I'm going to get a much brighter uh, light. A little six, six watt LED um, fixture isn't going to cut it anymore. So uh, until next time, guys, uh, take care.